What's going on y'all? It's Josh and Kelsey. We are back with another video. All right, y'all. Today we are in Camden, Tennessee, and uh, we are speaking to, well, we're speaking to somebody that we've been wanting to speak to for a long time. We've actually been trying to get this video done for about a month, but we had to keep rescheduling it because it's crazy weather. Um, we're speaking to Miss Virginia Patterson, or as the world knows her, Miss Patsy Klein. We came today to see her memorial. So as you guys know, we, um, we've we talked to folks that are across the world. We talked to Miss uh, Mary, who was in Ireland. Now this isn't where she is resting. Her resting spot is in uh, Virginia, where she's born. Um, we're gonna try to make this happen, y'all. Uh, we said a little prayer. We uh, reached out to the spirit guides and uh, hopefully with her energy being here, uh, we can do it. Um, so we've seen it done before, y'all. We've talked to folks that were that passed in one place and were buried in a different place. And we've been to where they passed and they spoke with us. So I don't know how that works. Maybe energy. I'm not sure. But hopefully today we can talk to Miss Patsy Klein and uh, get some answers to these questions we came up with. And also just some things I want to know about. Because I grew up listening to Patsy. My grandpa had her on the radio every morning. And uh, she was just a big part of my life and, and Kelsey's life as well. We both have a connection with Patsy Klein. So um, yeah, it'd be an honor if we could speak to her. So let's see if we can do that and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. All right, y'all, this is the big memorial rock for Miss Patsy and the others that were on the plane that went down. But right now, today, we just want to talk to here to talk to Miss Patsy Klein. Look, people left uh, pennies and nice little memorial. Somebody left a really nice necklace. Microphone, that's cool. Little keychain microphone. Some flowers. Hello, Miss Patsy, if you're here. We're gonna call you Miss Patsy. I know your your birth name is Virginia, but the world knows you as Miss Patsy Klein. So um, Kelsey and I are gonna to refer to you as Patsy, and we hope you're you're okay with that. But ma'am, my name is Josh, and this is my beautiful wife Kelsey, and we come in peace and light and love, and we mean no disrespect or no ill intent. Ma'am, we just come to speak to you today and honor you and give you a voice. There's a there's generations of people that may not have heard of you or your wonderful music and uh we just feel like you're such inspiration for so many and your story is just incredible that people need to understand and know who patsy klein is so um hopefully this helps ma'am and uh hopefully kelsey and i can have the honor to speak to you today if you're if you're comfortable with us um how this will work is i'll ask you a question ma'am and uh kelsey will hit the button the button turns on the box and we'll be able to hear your responses. I might catch a few things today, but we do have to go back and review those. But please know that your your name and your story will not go unheard, ma'am. So we're going to go ahead and hit the button because we want to ask you if Kelsey and I have permission to, to speak to you today. What? <laughs> Are you, are you here, Miss Patsy? Of course. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. We heard some, some confirmation there. We're going to go with that, y'all. You guys already know this, but I, I feel like I, I do need to remind folks that sometimes we do get responses and we don't actually know if that's the person or not. We're, we're going off of, of hope and, and, and you know, hope that the person is honest and that is them. But if it's not them, we really don't know. However, I feel like our, our spirit guides do a great job at, at helping bring the actual person we're speaking to with us and, uh, 
bring them up front and, and kind of communicate that. So you guys have noticed they do step in often if, if things get a little out of hand or somebody not nice is wanting to, to jump in. So you guys have witnessed it. I just want to remind if, if you guys are new to this channel, it's always a possibility. So and that goes for anybody. That goes for anything. So, all right. Um, well, Miss Patsy, uh, since you gave us permission, we'd like to just ask you, ma'am, how are you resting? Are you resting in peace, ma'am? All right. All right. All right. So, Kels, uh, do you want to ask Miss Patsy your first question? Yes. Now, Miss Patsy, I know uh, Josh had said we were going to refer to you as Miss Patsy, but I was curious if you prefer to be called Patsy or by um, your birth name of Virginia. Do you have a preference of, of what people refer to you as? All right. Where? On. Excuse me. Right. Go ahead and get out of You are. Walter. Walter, are we okay, sir? All right. I heard Walter come in there, so. Yeah. I believe he said we're good. My question for you, Miss Patsy, is how does it feel to be the first female inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame? I mean, that's a that's a goal and, and an inspiration for for a lot of artists. Uh, you're inspiring them, but specifically for for female artists, um, especially the time that that you got inducted, you were the first, so no one did it before you. So how, how does that how does that make you feel, ma'am? All right, Kels. All right. I'm excited to hear that. That's just amazing what what you accomplished and uh, what you did for for people. So, uh, Kels, you want to go ahead and ask Miss Patsy the the next question? Yes, and this might be a little bit of a sensitive question. We had read an article that you were quoted telling Ray Walker, "Honey, I've had two bad ones, meaning accidents. The third one will either be a charm or it'll kill me." Was that statement true? Uh, did you really tell Ray Walker that? And did you have some sort of premonition about accidents? All right, good question. <laughs> I just. Yeah. 
question for you are you are you reunite, reunited with your husband charlie Yes, Miss Patsy, you put out so much great music, and I'm curious, what was your favorite that you put out there? Oh yeah, we just Miss Patsy. Also, we just was we was jamming on the way over here to some of your classics, Kelsey and I. We enjoy your stuff and all your music. To us, everything was a hit. So, mm -hmm. what was your favorite? <laughs> Patsy, there's a question that I've been dying to ask you, ma'am. Um, now, I'm a fried chicken fan myself, and we all know that you were a big fried chicken fan. So my question is, um, did you... <laughs> this is kind of a funny one, but did you really kick old, uh, old George Jones off of your airplane because he ate your fried chicken? <laughs> Guys, I had to pause right after we asked about the chicken because the law pulled up. They're just checking on us. We're out here in the middle of the woods by ourselves, so they pulled in the in the little gravel area to check on us. But um Miss Patsy, I heard chicken and I heard it's true. So I'm gonna go with it really happened and I'm gonna be honest with you, ma'am. I don't blame you because I love some fried chicken. 
some good fresh fried chicken. Yeah, some good fresh fried chicken. Mm -hmm. So, sorry, George, I have to side with uh, Miss Patsy on that one. <laughs> <laughs> but Kelsey, you want to go ahead and uh, ask the next question? Yes. Yeah, so, um, we've read that you and Miss Loretta Lynn were very close friends, and she thought the world of you. Um, so I was just curious. Um, are the best friends back together? Are you in? Uh, Miss Loretta um, resting together. Are you guys reunited? Yeah, I bet they're out there singing the storm and causing a little trouble in a good way. turn this volume up just a little bit i feel like when the law pulled up on us i turned it down by accident well i put the box next to me and uh yeah i think i hit the button a little bit so. <laughs> all right so um my question for you ma'am i know how magical it is at the grand Ole opry and you got to perform there so my question for you is uh was it as magical as you thought it would be miss patsy <laughs> speaking with you we believe we're speaking with you right now miss patsy and uh, we hope that that we've respected you enough with these questions and uh and us just being here today hopefully we showed you enough respect so my question is if we go to your resting community where your headstone is in your hometown in virginia and also your museum would you welcome us again to speak with you Patsy, we, we just thank you so much for showing us their respect uh, and speaking with us today. And hopefully you felt comfortable with us. And uh, I guess I'll find out when I go <laughs> when I go edit this video. But 
Thank you, ma'am. And uh, we definitely want to visit you at your hometown in Virginia. So uh, Kelsey and I are, are very honored and blessed to be here and speak with you today. So we just ask, ma'am, that you just rest in peace and uh, rest in light.